We're not doing that well as a nation in terms of yeah. education, in my, in my view. Where do you, how do you think we sit in education, and, and, and do you think it needs to be improved? One of the problems that I see with education is high-stakes testing. Hmm. We are really testing our children too much. Or we're, we're putting too much emphasis on a test that they take a one day. And I'm going to give you an example for third graders. I taught third grade my first year. And it's very stressful for a teacher to start their first year of teaching, teaching a tested grade because you're held accountable for making sure that your students passed the test and you're trying to learn the, uh, the nuances of becoming a new teacher. So it's, it's a very stressful situation. But on the, the testing day, you have third graders who are taking a four hour test and they are not allowed to leave until everyone completes the test. That's now they may they may leave out uh, and go to the to the restroom, but of course they just have to go and come back. The, they cannot be tested by their regular teacher. The teachers have to to swap and teach someone else's uh, administer the test rather to someone else's class, and so that's a stress level right there for students because they're accustomed to their teacher. Wow. And they sit there for four hours. And when you see their little eyes start rolling because they that's a long time taking a test. It's uh, yeah, it's um, it sounds like we've taken kind of the, we've, we're missing the purpose there. These kids, it's, it's, we're trying to shove them through like a product. Right. And it's it's right. really scary. I mean, right. I'm I'm I feel lucky to have gotten a public education when I did because I look at it today and I'm frightened by what my kids got and that was 10 years ago. So I mm -hmm. know it can't be any better. Mm -hmm. One of your, mm -hmm. on your, your uh, platform, you have create free public higher education. In America, every child deserves a chance to succeed. A college education should be a right, not a privilege. So tell me about that. How do we make that happen? How would you help make that happen for Texas and District 14? One thing we I believe we should focus on early childhood education in Texas. The education funding has been cut tremendously. Wow. And in Texas, it's estimated that we spend thirteen point five billion dollars a year on testing. Wow. That money could be better used to educate our younger children and to have preschool education. And so early childhood education is so key to the success of our students. And I believe that if we focus more on having children reading at a proper reading level that's appropriate for their age and appropriate for their grades, that we would be much more successful. We have curriculum tracks that even if a student cannot keep up or they haven't learned the basics of adding, let's just say adding two digits, but it's time for us to be adding four digits. Well, I can't add two digits. Well, I'm sorry, we are adding four digits now. Right. Well, the cycle is just, it, it's just so pit against them. And so I see we need more help in uh, early childhood education. Our teachers need additional training. Yes. It would be so advantageous to have a first year teacher to have an assistant in the room with them so that they can get into teaching because you just really don't know how to teach. And you don't have an assistant, you don't have uh, someone that's with you to help you learn how to teach, learn how to work with behavior problems, the paperwork that's involved. It's just you in a classroom with, with 20 plus students right. and you're right. expected to teach them from day one. Well, and 20 would be uh, a lucky number. Um, yes. <laughs> if, if you really ended up with 20, only 20 in your class. Exactly. Uh, most teachers I know of are dealing with 40, uh, you know, in a classroom. And that's, you know, that talks to money. Um, yes. Creating a free public higher education, people are going to scream, that costs money, right? Anything mm -hmm. to improve our education. Where do you think we should get the money from? How do we pay for that is going to be the question. Well, if we could spend $700 billion on military equipment, equipment that's going to become outdated, why don't we invest in our children? Why don't we be really patriotic and invest in the education of our, of our children? We have a society that depends on our children being educated. And I believe in public education. I'm a product of public education. We just need to strengthen our public education system, encourage and support our teachers. Our teachers are uh, coming out of the teaching profession at a, a phenomenal rate. Teachers do not last uh, past three to five years. 
Right. And so we have a revolving door when it comes to teachers. And but we know where the problems are and we know how to fix them based on research. So much of the laws that affect education are not based on research. They're based are coming from uh, legislators who are not educators and right. they have no idea about the education system. Right. I, they're, and I, I'd go in farther and just say they're not really educated. And they're not. You take Randy Weber and hangs out. Uh, what? Look at DeVos. Right. Uh, right. So no. Right. I mean, DeVos doesn't know anything about her job, yet she got it. I'm not even sure how that was legal.